How you doing? So you are not seeing things. That's almost 6.3 million health rentra. So the video of this title is What Fights to Avoid with Hercules. This video could have been titled Why Angela is Better Than Hercules in Incursion, but I'm not going to change your mind, you know, about wanting to use Hercules. And you should use Hercules because he's one of the best cosmic champions in the game. So these are just the fights that you want to avoid with Hercules. So let's take a look at it. So the first one is going to be Plux Dispersal and Power Play. So I've actually faced a champion with larger help with Plux Dispersal. And uh, Plux Dispersal is not that bad, but combined with Power Play, it, it's really hard for Hercules, you know. Like I mentioned, I fought the hard, higher help with Plux Dispersal, but combined with Power Play, it's just it's just a tough node to have. You know, I think the positive thing about Hercules, you can say, is he does take some skill to learn versus Angela. Angela is just like, she's, she's the GOAT, man. She just like, you know, get your 10 hit combo meter or throw your special one and the fight's over. And I know that seems like, you know, kind of boring for some people. And I get that, you know, but the thing what I like about Angela is like she just does big yellow numbers and the fight ends quick. And I like the fights when they end quick, you know. So, and this is already like past zone 60 in sector 1. So, Angela will be hitting a truck and on this one, on this fight. I thought I did pretty well in this fight. I just, you know, I mentioned like, you know, with power play, as you could see here. When I, I'm going to lose my immortality because of power play. It, what power play is, it, you get fate seal. Whoever has the least amount of power. And Hercules is not immune to fate seal. As you can see here, I get knocked out with recoil. So, just not a good fight for Hercules. So, let's go to the next one. So... This is Abomination Weakness. So I actually didn't even record using Hercules here. Because um, I thought this was going to be like an easy fight for Hercules. So what it is is when you have contact with Abomination, it inflicts a poison on you. So as you can see on this fight, every time you see Hulk being saying immune, meaning that he's inflicting poison on Hulk, but he's immune to poison. And Hercules is not immune to poison, so... What happens is if you trigger poison with Hercules, he's going to go straight to his immortality, which is not a, really going to be a problem against Abomination. What the problem is that the weakness debuff, but when you stack so many, he's not doing hardly any damage. As you can see, this is a 6 star rank 4. A 6 star rank 4 has like 3 times the attack of a 4 star. And a 6 star rank 4 is like even a, no, having a hard time, you know, doing this fight. So... The weakness is really not a good node for Hercules because it takes away a lot of his damage. And this is one of those, you know, damage is the best utility kind of thing. With Angela, she just hits so hard, the weakness debuff doesn't even matter. And I got saved there with Hoax Unstoppable. Not only that Angela hits so hard, I think arguably Angela's signature ability is better than Hulk. Uh, what, what it is, is basically with Angela's ability... As you can see here, uh, what is this? Let's go play it. So what about Angela's ability is that uh, it depends on how high sig she is or how many buffs she has. But if you have her high sig and, or you have a lot of buffs, as long as she's awakened, she's pretty much immune to damage over time. That's why I think arguably that Angela's signature ability is better than Hercules and that's just one part of Angela's ability one part is like she can be immune to nullify not completely and she can what counter auto block so that could be really good uh, and also the, one of her parts is she can parry non contact attacks is like just on her base kit so one of her signature ability is she can pretty much shrug up damage over time see with abomination you know, even though Angela is not immune 
to poison, she's just gonna shrug it off instantly because of her signature ability. Like this is like a super easy fight with Angelo. And you're gonna see here, uh, as you can see here, I didn't even get less than half of the health of Abomination. So what? how much health does he have? Uh, 885,000. So I bought almost 6.3 million health Rintra. Okay, this is not even one seventh of the health of Rintra. Rintra had more than seven times the health of this. Think about it. This is not a big health pool. And like I mentioned, this is what, what zone is this? So let's take a look at it. This is already um, zone 64, as you can see there, you know, so sector one. So Angela is going to be hitting a tr like a truck here. You know, that would have been such an, this is such an easy fight, even for a four star Angela. So let's go to this one. This is one, another fight that I think was going to be easy because, you know, when the help pool is not that large, it's not that hard for Hercules to be able to solo this. This node is called Personal Space Regeneration. So what happens is if the help pool gets too large, Hercules cannot do the fight because he simply cannot do enough damage. And that's the one of the benefits of having Angela because it doesn't matter the help pool because she just so, does so much damage that she can one-shot the opponent. I did, I had a video which I just had posted, where she did 175 million with one hit of the special one. Just one hit of the special one, 175 million. To be fair, that was a five star, okay? But a four star would do about half of that, which is about 88 million. So think about that. This guy's health pool is, I believe, is 885,000. So 1% of that damage is all Angela needs as a 4 star to one shot this Hulk right here. And Hercules, as you can see, he just doesn't have enough um, damage to be able to do personal regeneration. And uh, I think I did, I would say in the beginning, if I just kind of like, you know, pushed to my SP3 and backed off, you know, when he was like around 60% health, you know, I might have been able to take him down, but then it, who knows? Because it's really tough because he would have been back to 100% health. And if I had him, like, what? At zero regeneration, it's just going to be uh, all over again. So there's really, this part, as you can see there, my mortality ran out and I got knocked out because of recoil. So I thought I'd give it a shot one more time. And, um, like maybe if I max out my offense, as you can see here, I'm in zone 67 already in sector one. I, as you can see, personal space regeneration. This is just not a good fight for Hercules if the health pool gets really large. So what is this? So here I changed my mastery to just give it another try with Hercules. Uh, so what I want to do is like max out my, try to, do get as much offense as I can with Hercules, so I don't need so much of the proficiency as much compared to offense. And really, I wanted to max out this bear because what that, as you can see there, debuffs applied on the opponent is reducing their attack um, regeneration rate by five percent. So having for each of the uh, this pair, so having three points in this pair, that's fifteen percent. Reducing opponent's regeneration for debuff on the opponent. So, which is going to help in this fight, as you will see. So here, you always really, especially in Cursion, you really want to max out Courage. Because you're always going to be in low health all the time. Unless you're Angela, or especially if you're above Corn. But pretty much every champion you're going to use, you're going to be below 50%. You want So you want to max out Courage for Incursion. So I want to give it another shot with Hercules. So I maxed out Despair because that will help um, reduce his healing ability. As you can see there, look at his health pool. As I already mentioned, 885,000 is it? 800, yeah, 885,000, okay. Rintra that I showed you earlier had more than seven times the health of this Red Hulk. Okay, so this health pool is really not that large. And Hercules already is struggling with health pool. As you can see, um, 
you're going to see another benefits why Angela is better than Hercules is he, she doesn't even need to hit very hard. If there's a safeguard on this node, which would be pretty ridiculous <laughs> with personal space regeneration, is Angela can still solo it because she has an ability to shut down opponent's regeneration completely with despair. Because with Angela, especially if you have buff corn, she... Um, she gets gains for every arm uh, buff Angela has. Every time she throws a special attack, she inflicts an armor break, so she can stack those armor breaks a lot. So even just one point can pretty much almost reduce opponent's regen to zero. And having like three points, that is pretty much like your opponent's not going to be regening pretty much. And here, as you can see, it really helps when you max out despair and like. You can see it's helping uh, reduce his regen a little bit. As you can see here, I just kind of got him pretty close to like, he's starting to like, look at that, two, see three now. It's going to be really tough for me to counter his uh, ability, but I do have Max Assassin. So that really helped. Boom. So one more crit. That was good. So having that max despair is really good, but as you can see here, the problem with that is like with Hercules, there's the regen. What happened to the regen? Wow, we got lucky. There was no regen until he has low health. Wow, I got really lucky there. I didn't realize that. But as you can see here, he's still regening, okay? If you were finding somebody not even seven times the health of this one, like just three times the health of this Hulk, he would have been regening back to 100% and Hulk, you know, Hercules wouldn't be able to beat this. So, like I mentioned, Hercules got lucky because of the health pull and I had max despair. So let's go to the next fight. So another fight you want to avoid with Hercules, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Rintra, you know, Rintra is just not a good fight for Hercules and a lot, especially obviously a lot of cosmic champions. It's not a good fight for um, for for any really any cosmic champion, you know, even I think Angela will have a hard time beating Rintra. So what happens with Rintra's ability is he can um, take away your buffs and you'll see on the fight. Here I'm trying to just read, you know, I didn't use all my potions. I just, you know, used enough to like have a little bit of health. And, but I really knew at this fight, this was like, this is the end. You have a Rintra, you know, with over 2 million health. Yeah, class disadvantage too. Yeah, this fight is not going to go very well. It also has Arc Overload. And Arc Overload in, on this one is really the hard one that you have to deal with. Besides that, there was really nothing hard about this fight, you know. But this is Rintra, so he's just not a good... Hercules is just not a good counter to Rintra, you know. Like I already mentioned, he takes away your buffs. And taking away your buffs, especially... Not just really just Hercules, but pretty much a lot of Cosmic Champions. That takes a lot of their damage, you know. So, especially, you know, with Hercules, you take away his buff, there goes his damage. And Rintra, when it comes to Rintra, you know... He regens too. So with Arc Overload, he also regens. So this is just, and this is just not. This fight is not gonna go anywhere with Hercules. As you can see here, um, he didn't trigger immortality because of Rintra's ability. So yeah, Rintra is just not a good fight for Hercules. I would try to avoid Rintra with Hercules. So this one right here, Captain America. So this one is heal and hide. And long distance relationship. So basically, this is just another not good fight for Hercules. And let me just talk about this before I go through here. Uh, yeah, wh why not? Let's just play this for now. So, this is, I already mentioned, heal and hide and long distance relationship. This is just not a good, um, you know, fight with Hercules because, you know, heal and hide, it's Definitely, I would say manageable somewhat, but when you have weakness combined with heal and hide, it's just just like Hercules. He just cannot do enough damage, and you can see on this fight, I pretty much didn't do any damage to her, um, Captain America, and this fight was over two minutes. 
okay and i didn't do any damage at all because he keeps regening you know with heal and hide uh not only that uh what do you call this when i get this weakness debuff on me and it's just like hercules is just not doing enough damage that's why um i actually didn't you know it's just not a good fight because you know hercules just cannot doesn't do enough damage and that's why i want to say like earlier like you're talking about sector one why in sector one you know well first of all i'm using a four star hercules okay if i was in sector six i would have used so much units and revive um for revise because it's a four star for sure so the hard thing about hercules is is to ramp him up you know to get him 12 persistent charge Put on the Herald ability and then hold in free fights. Uh, what else? And to get all the hacks in the game that you can get, right? But once he gets to all the hacks that I have, it's actually makes fights is not so bad. So that's why I'm using Sector 1 with Hercules. But also in Sector 1, I want to introduce this challenge. You know, especially this is to Brian Grant. He said made a video saying that no matter how powerful a champion is hercules is still going to be the best champion for incursion and that is a complete lie i know a lot of people are going to believe him because he has a lot of subscribers but that's just a complete lie and i can't believe he said that that's so i don't even know what to say I mean, that was just just silly for him to say that but you know what whatever it is what it is and uh you know if herc i want to issue this challenge you know, in any sector, I would like to challenge anybody with Hercules, and I'm going to use my Angela from zone one to zone 100. We can go, who can go? We can do whatever you like, you know, whoever can go the fastest. As you can see, I started with 96, he started with 96% health, ended with 96% health, right? Because it's just it's just not a good fight for Hercules. He just doesn't do enough damage. You know? So going back to the challenge, you know, if you have a Hercules, I'll challenge you with my Angela. You can make up the rules if you like. So the rule would be you could choose the rules you like. So the rules is basically who can from zone one to zone one hundred, who can get there the fastest? Or we can also do who can do the most solos and we can also do battleground scoring but i can pretty much tell you that the battleground scoring that's you don't want that with hercules that is a guaranteed loss for hercules if you want to do battleground scoring type of wise so there's really two options i would suggest we can do who can get to zone 100 faster from zone 1 to zone 100 or who can solo the most fights or we can do both at the same time that's fine too with me you get to choose i'll challenge your hercules versus my angela i'm so confident that angela is so much better than hercules past zone 25 that i'm willing to use my five star angela versus your six star hercules okay but the, the caveat is that we're gonna start at zone 70 okay the any sector okay and I can tell you, you know, like I was in Sector 1 earlier. Well, that's Sector 1. If Hercules has any chance of beating Angela, it's Sector 1. Because by the time you get to Zone 100 in Sector 1 with Hercules or with Angela, the Sector 1, Zone 100 is pretty much equivalent to Sector 6, Zone 25 in terms of health pull and attack. So you probably... If you have Hercules, you might have taken to Sector 6, Zone 25. So you're familiar with the help point attack. Okay, so if Brian Grant theory is correct, okay, that Hercules is better than Angela, then why not, right? You know, I'm sure you've been to Zone 25, maybe, maybe not. But, you know, but like I said, we can do Sector 6 too. But like, as you can see here, a good example, I fought a 6.3 million health Grintra, okay? Hercules... When it comes to the higher health pools, he just cannot do it. You know, that's why he's not one of the best options in Abyss. That's why he's not that good in Necropolis. But Kabam thinks he's broken, right? That really shows you Kabam doesn't know what they're talking about. 
You know, it kind of sucks that they don't know what they're talking about, but it is what it is. So they're so afraid that Hercules is quotation mark broken, they had to nerf him from Necropolis, so he pretty much become useless for Necropolis. And I'm I'm not gonna person to use Hercules for Necropolis. I'm planning to use Aegon, but for the Herc fans out there, especially the ones with the high rank Hercules, that kind of sucks for them, right? To not be able to use Hercules and Necropolis because it's all because of Kabam thinking that he's broken, which he's not. He's not broken. I knew that. Any sane person knows that, you know, and then he, they messed up. I really wish they didn't nerf Hercules and Necropolis. So you can either go to Sector 1 or Sector 6, but I can tell you right now, Sector 6, you know, Hercules is not going to do well because the help was just, it's too large for him. He's going to struggle. With Angela, the help pool doesn't matter. You know, I just told you, I had a video with Angela with a five star doing 175 million with one hit of the special one. Just the first one hit of the special one. So the help pool does not matter for Angela. Okay. Hercules, it does. So we can either go. So the best chance of Hercules beating Angela is at sector one. I'll get, I pretty much tell you, sector six, there's no chance for her. I don't think there's pretty much no chance for Hercules to win against Angela. So we can I can use my five star and you Angela you can use six star Hercules if you want but we have to start at zone 70 70 to zone 100 we can start at zone one you know I actually prefer that you know with the exception of the first fight because um, I want to make Angela a herald and I think Hercules too will benefit more from being a herald but I don't mind I just want to end the fights quicker so you know this is a challenge to Brian Grant or anybody think that Hercules is better than Angela. I'll challenge you. I'm, I'm so confident. Like I said, you you can use your six star Hercules. I'll use my five star Angela, but we have to so we have to start at zone seventy. But if you want to um, start at zone one to zone one hundred, it has to be you have to use a five star Hercules because I have, I'm using a five star Angela. So let's go to the next one. So this is another fight you can want to avoid. As you can see, two point six million health. It's not that high, you know. You know, I, like I mentioned, I know I keep saying it. I found a 6.3 million health Rintra. So 2.6 million is not that high. So, you know, Power Lock 1 is just not a good fight for Hercules. Because you can't just, you know, do your infinite stun, you know. with Because for Hercules to do his infinite stun, um, he has to throw his special too, you know. Special 2, you can, uh, depending on the hacks you have, you can do the infinite stun. But here, it's power lock 1 passive, so he can, can only throw his special 1. And that's really a big nerf to Hercules, you know. And the good thing about, another good thing why Angela is better than Hercules is she doesn't need to throw special attacks. She does so much damage, you know, with, uh, without her basic attack that she doesn't need to throw special attack. You know, even special one is good enough for Angela. She doesn't need special two, special three. Um, even in power shield node, I did over 4 million health with a three star Thor relic, you know, in a power shield node. Think about it. So she doesn't even need to throw a special attack in power shield node if you have a relic on, or if you have a Thor relic at least. And that was a three star Thor relic. So you can see here. It's just power lock one. It's just not a good fight for Hercules. So really, that's it. Uh, that's it. Thank you.